so Mayari, one of our students, made a beautiful ring, so I'm going to try to uh, mimic it. She made it in real. Um, so polyline, um, turn on grid snap, so you're snapping to the grid, and draw something like this. I must have taken line, because if you take polyline, you don't have to redo it every time like I'm doing. Anyway, it's all good. Um, line, draw only one line, polyline, draw multiple. I must have clicked on the wrong one. So I just join. But if you grab this one, polyline, you'll be fine. Turn off grid snap. I don't need it anymore. Now I can do a fillet uh, from here to there and here to here and maybe here a smaller one so maybe point one voila then we can mirror it mi zero voila or you could click here also at the end now we can join the two and uh, Many things we could do right now, I think it's a bit too wide, so I can go F10 to show the point. Select the two extreme and scale them using Alt, so there's no o snap. Well, I could have even just scaled this, would have been smarter. Perfect. And then we can go select this, revolve zero for the axis, shift to be on the red line and from zero enter to 360 enter so now we've got something like this uh, next step we're gonna draw a cylinder in the top view zero for the center alt so there's no snap and make it pretty small like this and a little bit tall voila then we can move it up In this view, we can go Array Polar, that means around a circle, center 0, H should be OK, enter, enter, voila. Now it's time to punch some holes, Boolean difference, subtract is the ring, with it's all of those cylinders. We can do now a little fillet edge, just for those one, maybe 0.2. And uh, this is for all of the circle. So sometimes it grab things that you haven't uh, done yet, so you could control click them out. And actually 0 0.2 is quite big here. Yeah. I thought it would be smaller. That's okay, still look good. Uh, control Shift E to center the ring. Uh, what else? Uh, now on this ring, we're going to do from the top a little cutout. So I'm going to draw uh, using grid snap, just uh, grid snap, a shape like this, some sort of a triangle. Voila, turn off grid snap. And I want it to be a bit pointy, so I'm going to go like that. Whoops, yeah, that's good. And then we want this to become 3D. So there's a tool called Extrude Curve Two Point, meaning that it'll go to a single point like this. Turn off grid snap. Make sure it's solid is turned on. It looks like it. Now we can delete the curve. We don't need it. This means there's two things: the object and the curve. And then we can place it where we want it. Now, I'm going to use this to make a little cut, but we could also turn it like this. That might help. Uh, 
Now the only plan that we have, press Alt huh, so there's no snap, is that we are not exactly in between two. So to fix this, we can select this, go rotate, enter zero, click anywhere and just rotate it like this. Then once again array polar zero eight that should be enter enter. Then we can mirror this. zero and all shift I think I put them the wrong way uh, it's not gonna be very pretty uh, what did I do wrong it's kind of that's okay it's too late they should be uh, pointing the other way boolean difference this and what's cutting it's all of those little guy voila I missed one and like I said it was not exactly the cut I was uh, after um, next um, if you want to engrave a text you can um, so basically those one were supposed to go deeper and cross up to here um, we can do the text like this by using a line here and an arc so you can type arc zero start the arc somewhere here maybe also you're not snapping and shift here voila uh, for the text from the top view actually I don't know how I did this but my top view should be the other way we can select it all click on the blue 90 degree voila now we can go text object uh, this is one of my client uh, we can just keep this solid group object the height is I usually make it 3d and I group so they are all one if you need to ungroup them you type ungroup uh, voila alt so there's no snapping and now that's a bit too tall so we can just do this, scale it quickly voila and put it at the center and now there's a very interesting tool called flow flow means um, flow along curve so I'm gonna turn the record history first so I can tweak it afterward flow this is what we want to flow the base curve is this and the target is the arc we drew and you see I actually bring the text here so now I can just move the text and the text update to where I need it it's too big so I can just scale the text too Oop. shift click voila I can move it up too and that should be pretty good Voilà. and now we can just uh, do a boolean difference oh, it looks like I'm not straight but we can just move it like this too and uh, we can go boolean difference subtract with is this voila that's how we can uh, engrave text oops 